All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I want to share with you a couple of trades that um, you can follow along with, something we've looked at in the live room. One, it's going to be too late to enter, uh, which is on the Aussie dollar, but a real nice setup. But then there's a similar setup on the dollar CAD, which is in the opposite direction, which you may be able to take advantage of, uh, <laughs> depending on how quickly we can get through this video. So um, I like to do them live. I don't like to do hindsight trades, as you guys know. There's too many of that online where people show all their winners. I like to give you real opportunities here so you can follow along and see how it played out and also see that some trades just don't work out even though they're very very high probability they just don't work out because they're not I don't have a system that's a hundred percent strike rate. So let's start on the Aussie dollar okay now the Aussie dollar um, we failed basically to put in uh, a break of this low. So we came back down after being in this bullish trend. We failed to put in a low here. We had this rejection and we went up into kind of the middle of no man's land. Some people were looking at this as a head and shoulders. But one area that interests me was the 7800 level. As I said in my previous videos, uh, 7800 is a major level of structure. It's a major price point in this market. So uh, major resistance level, right? If we just look left, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and they're just now holding that for the eighth time, ninth time, uh, just recent, and that's just in recent times. That's just since the you know, beginning of the year, basically. So as we're approaching that level, you can see that it's also minor structure as well, because we've just recently tested this level over the last week or so. So if we drop down to the 240, you're going to see that um, when we drop down to the 240, you're going to see that the most recent level that was tested was that 7800 level. And look how price behaved. We had this big rejection and we had a bullish candle, rejection candle, then a lower, low, lower close, and then we rolled over. Now, as we approach this zone, we also had a rejection candle. And although we gap down, this is what we call a, uh, a three bar reversal. This is actually a lower, low, lower closed candle. If you just imagined that that gap wasn't there, this is still a close. We open close lower than the low of the previous candle. So this is a three bar reversal. So an aggressive entry there that would allow you to get in and then catch the rollover. Now this morning we've just seen this rollover play out. Um, and we were hoping that for some of the guys in the room who didn't catch the initial rollover, that there would be like a, a 2618 or a second chance entry to get involved. So we dropped down to the 60 to see if there was a, a kind of 2618. But you can see from uh, from here, we didn't actually get the retest in the first place. We didn't get a, a valid retest here for the 2618 to be valid. Uh, and now we've rolled over, obviously. So if you was in the live room or you caught this based on a setup uh, that we were looking at at tier one, well done. What I want to share with you now is a similar setup that you may be able to take advantage of, depending on your trade plan rules, obviously, um, if we're not too late. It depends when this video gets published out. And I want to take you out to the dollar CAD. Okay, so just recently, you can see that we've got this retest of this previous support level. Okay, 2400. 2400 flat. We've got this nice kill zone down here, this, this resist uh, support zone down here. And it looks like it's playing out already, guys, so you may not catch this, but it's going to be valuable to you anyway for future setups like this. So first, we've looked at higher time frame structure, even handle number, psychological um, number, and then we've looked at how price is behaving as we've approached that zone. So look at this. We've got a rejection candle. We've got a rejection candle. We're in this zone here. We can actually... Um, tighten up that zone if you need to, but this is the support level. This is where we would start looking for an entry, and right here we got our higher, higher, higher close. Okay, so you could have entered at market right here, or there's a better entry on the 60, which is a double bottom, right? So we've got this double bottom entry here, divergence uh, on the RSI. We've got divergence on the RSI, we've got a double. But, uh, double bottom, you would have entered on the close of this candle right here. So you would have entered at 23.95. But the great thing about this one is even if you're not in the target zone, okay, the target zone for me would be right here. Okay, 
So target zones would be front running my orders at this level here. So this is what the, the target zone would look like. This is what the profit target would look like. And then your stops, you could get an ATR below the low or even if you got below the previous low to get them stops really well protected, you're still going to have a nice reward to risk profile on this. If we just color this in red and we color this in green to make it really, really clear. Uh, there you go. Uh, you're going to see that it's still a nice reward to risk profile, probably a one and a half, just under a one and a half to one. So those are the kind of setups for structure based traders that are really nice. We look at the higher time frame structure. We look at any other confluence such as even handle numbers, psychological numbers. We count the amount of times that's been tested and then we drop down to the trading time frame to start to look for those setups and maybe drop down even lower to get an entry technique. And that's it. And we base the targets off of the trading time frame, stops off of the uh, trading time frame, or if you're using a lower time frame, you might use an ATR on the uh, double bottom, double top, and that will give you a good risk to war profile. And if you can consistently do this over time, you will make money trading. There's no doubt about it. The, the, the only reason you won't make money trading if you can't do this for a long period of time is because you haven't tested it. Okay, so I highly recommend you go and play around with something like this. Go and test it. Get the black and white proof of how this system behaves, how often you're right, how often you're wrong, how much you lose when you're wrong, how much you win when you're right, and how often you're right. And that's really enough to give you the confidence to go and trade this live in the markets. If you're interested in learning more about this, you can obviously join my live trading session. The link's in the description. And if not, keep tuned on this channel i'm going to be releasing my show this week so we're going to be going through everything wealth creation or if you're just here for the trading videos and stick around i release one or two trading videos every single week i appreciate you being here don't forget to share this video and i'll see you in the next one